Hi folks, welcome to yet another exciting day of the virtual classroom with Prof. Zach of Easy Coaching. Funny coincidence, we spoke about interview skills yesterday and how to make money, you know, by scoring the right job. And uh, I thought, you know, what was missing? So I realized I didn't talk about building resumes. So here I am with effective resume writing. Of course, your trustable Prof. Zach doesn't leave out anything. To imagination. So here it is, effective resume writing. Stay with us. So folks, all the students and all the professionals listening, what is a resume or a curriculum YT, a CV as it's called, mostly in this part of the world? Well, it's a synopsis or a summation of your academic and professional history. Uh, you also put any other mentionable information in a resume that you consider to be an essential part of your overall profile. Now, your resume has to be an emphasis on this word, accurate representation of the following. Your professional background, your academic background, your accomplishments, your organizational skills, your certifications, any relevant project work, in short, your overall capabilities as a working professional. Now remember, whenever you present your resume and they like what they see and they call you in for an interview, you walk in with the resume in your hand as if you're advertising yourself like a billboard on feet, literally. So your resume is the first step through the door. What does a resume do for you? It sets your first impression to the potential employer. It helps organize your entire professional bios in one document. It also highlights specific details, specific details about your education, your work experience, your achievements, in short, you. So it creates your value in the mind of the talent seeker and it becomes the basis for justifying your getting hired at that organization. Why is the resume important then? Well, don't forget that it's a doggy dog market out there. The resume needs to make the recruiter sit up. It's the first step through the door, even before the interview. In fact, I believe that a good resume helps you score the interview. And then a good interview helps you score the job. So it's a step-by-step -step process. So you must create a good, legible, grammatically correct, and textually consistent resume. By that I mean use a consistent font throughout. Mention specifics about the best experiences in your past where you've excelled. A sharp resume will make the recruiter interested in reading more to the point with their want to meet, you know, the face behind the thunder, you Flash Gordon, you. So what are the resume essentials? Start with a two or three sentence profile summary. That's what I've done on my resume. Put all your professional experience in chronological order. Put your academics in chronological order. Mention technical qualifications, if any. Your core competencies your areas of expertise, your achievements, your certifications. Of course, and with references, I believe that two should suffice. How does one write a good resume? Well, you want to redraft your resume in alignment with the job you're applying for, and that increases your chances of getting shortlisted. By that, I don't mean lie, I just mean Place it in context according to the experiences and skills you possess with the, with the position you're applying for. And analyze descriptions in the jobs classified or jobs wanted section in newspapers and uh, journals. And then writing in context according to the relevant skills you, you may possess will be helpful. Send the same standard resume to any and all jobs advertised is highly not recommended. You can't just float around the same resume everywhere. Put some time and effort in it. 
at least give your resume one proofread before you submit it. Now, I used to work as an IT specialist job recruiter in the past for this company. And I can tell you that I hated reading novellas. It's like a short storybook. So I recommend that you keep your resume simple, brief, and easy to follow. You know those new age spider web resumes where they're able to align everything all in one page or on the page with a pretty round self portrait in the top center? That kind of resume covers all the relevant information in one page. Personally speaking, from a personal standpoint, that's my favorite kind of resume. A one page covers all resume. And when I was doing that job, my biggest pee was skimming through the eight to 12 page gazettes that would get submitted. It was no fun and I would already lose interest by the second page. So moderation works like a charm. Here are finally some take home tips. Use consistent font, use spell check sparingly, be accurate with past employment dates, reference information, past employer details. That will help with a quick background check and help you land the job quicker. Your resume must reflect how you can add value to an organization. Use business casual or formal pictures if you're going to paste pictures in the resume. Not pictures from your cousin's wedding, for example. Never ever lie on your resume. It gets one in trouble more often than not. Remember, your resume is a billboard on wheels or feet, whichever euphemism fits the bill. So make sure it catches the eye. Folks, once again, Prof. Zach with another day of virtual classroom of easy coaching. We give it to the people straight. So happy resume writing, happy job hunting. If you like the video, please do like us, subscribe, share, spread the word. You can email us at the email ID you see in front of you. You can WhatsApp me at the number you see in front of you because I'm open to comments, questions, or critique. Stay safe, stay blessed, take care of yourselves, and always write in if you need help with any common problems that we talked about. Take care.